Most people don't even know how to calculate their net worth. I'll tell you that. Most people have no clue how to calculate their next their net worth. Honey, do you know how to calculate your net worth? I'm gonna have to teach you. You worth a lot? You don't know how much though. How do you know how much how do you know you worth a lot? That's it? How do you know how much you're worth? How do you know how much your net worth is? How do you know you're worth a lot? I'm going based off of my personality. Oh, so your personality is determined. <laughs> how do we... Hey, hey, chat. How do we break down how much personality is worth? You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of people are not familiar with how to be able to break down their net worth. Uh, but I'm going to be going into that shortly. It's a video uh, that is in my algorithm where the guy walks around and he asks people, how much do they make? How much do they make? And then what's their net worth, depending on whether or not they're comfortable with him in the question. Here's the thing. When I was watching this video, when I watch his video sometimes, though, and he walk around and these people walk around and say, how much did you make? You know what I'll be thinking to myself? Whether or not these same people would be receptive if somebody like me was walking around in uh, Newport Beach out there in California saying and putting a microphone in their face and saying, hey, how much do you make, sir? You got listen, you got to know your market. You got to know who you are. You got to know your market. You can't be walking around as a person that got, uh, you know, that got Versace glasses on walking around asking people how much do they make? They might think I'm trying to set them up, but it's all because of the black people that's over there doing bad things, mm -hmm. making us look bad. Anyways, hit a like for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your, not your notifications. Uh, I want to get into this video. How much do you make per year? What's your biggest tip when it comes to Let's get past this. Do you have any... What's your net worth? About 200000 How much do you make per year? One fifty. What do you do then? I'm a consultant. For what He company? said his net worth is uh, $150,000, but he makes about $200,000 a year. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let me rewind that. I think he said his net worth was... Let me see. Let me see exactly. I want to make sure I get that right. It's 150 and 200, but I'm not sure which one he said that he made. I think he said he made 150. About 200,000. How much do you make per year? 150. So his net worth is $200,000, but he make $150,000 a year. Do y'all think in the chat that that makes sense? His net worth. Now, for those of you that don't know what your net worth is, if you're still trying to figure it out, your net worth is basically all of your assets, all of your cash, how much you own, right, minus how much you owe. So it's how much you own versus how much you owe. Now, the how much you owe part, a lot of people get that messed up because they start looking at the value of their home and they say, oh my God, my home is worth a half a million dollars. Um, I'm worth a half a million dollars. Nope. Your home is only, or your net worth is how much your home is worth minus what you owe on it. So if you owe 250, then that means that your net worth or what contributes into your net worth is $250,000, not a half a million dollars. So he says he's worth 200,000, but he makes 150. Let's continue. What do you do then? I'm a consultant. For what company? Booz Allen. So what's your monthly rent? I'm kind of lucky right now. I'm renting with a friend, so it's only a thousand dollars. Okay. What's he's renting with a friend and he makes $150,000 a year and he's only paying a thousand dollars. Now, if I drop a video that says that, man, I only, I'm living for free. Then they gonna say, oh my God, you're broke. But I make a gajillion dollars. It's about keeping money. It's not about, or keeping assets or putting your money into assets or being able to deploy your resources while lowering what it costs you in order to maintain a lifestyle. That is the life hack. Make a lot of fucking money and don't increase your lifestyle. And then you'll you'll be rich forever. You'll be taken care of forever. You don't need to be able to prove anything to anybody in order for you to be able to live the lifestyle that you want. All right. What's your best personal finance hack? Don't spend too much time figuring out how to save pennies. It's more productive to learn how to make more money. Don't spend too much time that. This is the best part of the video for me. Don't spend too much time learning how to save pennies. It's more, more productive to learn how to make more money. 
Now that goes against everybody that says that forty, fifty, and sixty thousand dollars is enough to be able to support a family of four or five. Don't spend too much time trying to save pennies. You need to be spending more time making more money. Look for free things on Craigslist. <laughs> Slick deals? Do you use that? Nope. I don't want nobody's couch off of Craigslist either. Slick deals also. Yeah. But I mean, that's, that's one of the traps. Like, don't spend too much time browsing Slick deals. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And like trying to find like $50 off. Just try to make $10,000 more. Sure. Thanks, guys. Right, yeah, Thank you. Luck. Thank you. Yay. Do you have a second to answer some questions? No, no. Okay, no worries. So what's your name? Kathy Hope. They ain't dissing him too. They dissing this nice Asian man too. What is your net worth? Two million. At the height of your career, how much were you making? 200,000. Her net worth is two million. And at, her, at the height of her career, she was making 200,000. Let me ask y'all a question. I don't know how old this lady is, but let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all think that do y'all think that two million dollars is a net worth is enough to be able to sustain her for the rest of her life? She looked like she's well taken care of. She got that. Uh, I just came from the salon, white woman hair and all of this other type of stuff. And she got the glasses on and everything. She's her net worth is two million. She's relaxed. She's not stressed out. She's not out here suffering as a result of it. Right. But she's saying that her net worth is $2 million and at the height of her career, she was making $200,000 a year. And what did you do? Insurance broker. Do you have any tips for anyone that wants to become an insurance broker? Don't go into the business. They lowered the commissions too much. <laughs> What's your biggest expense right now? Real estate taxes and long-term care. What's your biggest tip when it comes to saving money? Well, you have to make a lot of money to save a lot of money. Cool. Thanks so much. Do you have a couple moments? She said you got to make a lot of money to save a lot of money. To answer some questions about personal finance. Oh, uh, no, I don't do that. Man. Okay, no worries. <laughs> She's filming me. What's your name and what do you do? My name's Rachel, and I am in charge of our customer care department at Tubby Todd Bath Company, based in Carlsbad, California. Natural skincare products for your whole fam. What is your net worth? My net worth? I have no idea. <laughs> I can always tell uh, people that don't know what their net worth is going to be. I can always tell immediately people that's not even going to have a clue of what it is that they worth or they they not willing to have a conversation. She probably got a bunch of student loan debt. She's my boss. Oh. So it's awkward. Honestly, I have no idea what my net worth is. How much do you make per year? About 65,000. What's your biggest expense right now? My child. Oh. <laughs> How much does your child cost? 2 grand a month. Kids cost Kids are expensive. She says her child costs at least $2,000 a month, which is the equivalent of $24,000 a year, which her kid probably costs significantly more. She's probably leaving a lot out, but she's probably just talking about child care. I know people that pay $2,000 a month in child care alone. That's a lot of money. What is your biggest money saving tip? Don't impulse shop. Take a second and think about it because most of the time you're just buying it to make yourself feel better. And then once you buy it, you don't feel better. <laughs> you know, the, the happiness that you get from buying something is fleeting. She got that, uh, what is that called? A fupa? No, I'm saying, <laughs> I, I can't help but to notice certain things that other people may not notice. Because I know a lot of people is interested in, in, in the money part of it. Uh, but she got them jeans that show off her poop, that her fupa good. I know. Why she tucked that shirt in and she got that big old fupa? Can't she get rid of that? Do you think she can get rid of that fupa? Or most of it? Why she tuck her, why do, why do, why does she tuck her shirt in in the front to show off the fupa? Is what I'm saying. So give yourself a second thought. Thanks so much. High five. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Isaiah Real, 31, and I'm a certified financial planner. What's your net worth? Net worth? Oh gosh, 700,000. And how much do you make per year? 300,000. Do you have any tips? Balling, 300 bands a year, $700,000 net worth. See, that's what I want my certified financial planner. You should have a requirement of being able to meet an expectation of what your life like before you can tell somebody else how to plan their life. For people that want to be able to make like a high income like that? Don't have debt. If you want to start a business, just take the risk. And what's your biggest personal finance hack for like saving money? Dollar cost average. Just invest money and let it do its thing. What's 
I agree. A lot of people don't understand what dollar cost averaging is. So dollar cost averaging is basically you take a percentage of what it is that you're going to invest every month and you make that you make that investment instead of trying to time the market. A lot of people try to time the market. They try to time a specific stock. Is it low or is it high or whatever? You can do your research, but once you find something that you actually see a lot of value in, uh, to just automate the process and dollar cost average instead of trying to figure out how you can get more funding and all of this other type of stuff, Automate that stuff. Let it do its thing. Before you know it, you're going to be rich as hell and you're not even going to realize it. And you're not even going to miss it. It's almost like the taxes that come out of your check. You start to adjust and you just expect for that to be that. Do the same thing when it comes to your investments. Do the same thing when it comes to, to investing in yourself. We even got a, Rita don't know this, but we even got a travel budget. What do you think that the monthly our monthly travel budget is? If you had to guess. $10,000. That's a really good guess. It's very close. You are very, very close. That's a good guess. Now, obviously, some months we go way more than that. But on a regular basis, I expect to spend about $10,000 a month on, on travel. Um, actually, I probably bust that out way more often because I wind up having to travel for two or three. And then when you throw Leslie in there, Leslie is not included in, yeah. in that. Yeah, Leslie got a fucking Kirk. Leslie probably spent more than $10,000 a month traveling. What's your biggest expense right now? Our wedding. What? How much is your wedding going to cost? $45,000. Wow. This dude is about to spend $45,000 on a wedding to a regular chick that's sitting right next to him. Don't do it. Come over to Anton from AntonDaniels.com. Let me tell you exactly how much you need to spend on your wedding when you get married. Don't spend a huge portion of your net worth. He trying to spend 6% of his net worth on a wedding. $45,000 for, $45, for a wedding? Jesus Christ. Okay, don't get married, you guys. That's very expensive. Thank you so much. Thank you. My name is Greg Perez. I am 34, and I am a budget analyst. What is your net worth? I'd say 120000 And how much do you make per year? Everybody get money. Everybody make over six figures. And again, it's a difference between making $100,000 and $500,000 and $999,000 a year. What's currently your biggest expense? Our mortgage. How much is your mortgage? About $2,000 a month. What's the most expensive thing that you own? Our car. And how much is that? $25,000. Okay. Thanks so much. Yes, yeah. My name's Ashley Adams. I'm 30 years old and I'm a graduate. I can, get, I can tell you, Ashley, I don't know. She might know her net worth, but Ashley probably is not going to know her net worth at all. Ashley probably is like a teacher. I'm sure she probably, if I had to guess, I'm going to start guessing these people before they, because I haven't seen this part for, going forward in the video. If I had to guess, I'll tell you that Ashley probably makes less than $100,000 a year and she does not know her net worth. Graphic designer and artist. What is your net worth? Oh, she a graphic designer. She probably make more than $100,000 a year. If she work in tech and information technology, especially out there in California, she probably make over one hundred now. I don't know. How much money do you make? Ah, I was right. She don't know her net worth. Make per year. 95000 Do you have any tips for anyone that wants? So she makes just under a hundred To get into graphic design? I would say uh, pursue a higher education, so get your MFA in design. And then really network with professionals and try to build up your portfolio. What's your biggest personal finance tip for saving money? Ooh, definitely budget and uh, save more than you think you need. <laughs> she don't even know her net worth, though. So how's she going to give uh, tips? <laughs> What's your current biggest expense right now? I would say either her, so emergency vet bills because. Shout out to all of the black women that love dogs. Women love dogs and puppies. I've seen even some people that I never thought in my life ever was going to ever have a dog sit there and had a dog scooting up on a, on a carpet like this, scratching their butt right after they get done boo-booing. I've seen some people I never thought in my life that I was that would get a dog, and they they dog is over there scratching their butt on the carpet. I'm like, get that fucking thing away from me. She's a senior dog, and my car payment. What's your car payment? With insurance, it's about five hundred. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Mustafa. I'm 38, and I'm a technology CEO for a company in Irvine, California. What's Mustafa? I'm about to change my name to Mustafa. A company called it's called zoom transportation we're like uh, an app that connects trucking companies with uh shippers on an automated platform what's your he probably he probably don't even pay himself anything but his net worth is is out of fucking control
He's a personal finance hack. Diversify. Like in terms of investments or? Yeah. You always want to diversify. You want to put a little bit of your money into precious metals, into digital currency, into stocks, invest in companies, and then also invest in real estate and then keep some cash. Okay. What advice would you have for aspiring entrepreneurs? Don't wait too long and start. Chase your dreams and think of the craziest thing you can do and go for it. Amazing. Cool. Thank you so much. Mike. He never said exactly how much he made. Which, which tells me that he make a lot of fucking money because he never said what he made. Michael. Michael was a millionaire. I can already tell Mike. Listen, I'm stereotyping right now. Michael is a millionaire and uh, he probably makes a half a million dollars a year. Michael Johnson, I'm in commercial real estate. And his name is ba Basic, Michael Johnson. And he in commercial real estate, he probably... He probably Nah, I don't know. He probably don't pay himself. He probably pay himself about $250,000 a year, um, depending on if he married or not. But he said he in commercial real estate. His net worth is probably $5 million, and he pay himself a quarter million dollars a year. Because your, your net worth is not based off how much you pay yourself. It's how much you own, right? What is your net worth? It's hard to say, but over $4 million maybe. How much do you My stereotyping skills is right. I don't know why people say you shouldn't stereotype make per year well it depends it all varies every year so usually five to six hundred okay okay so i was off on that i should have said a half a million at first but then i i, I went down to two hundred fifty thousand dollars but i should have said a half a million dollars do you have any advice for anyone that wants to get into commercial this dude, pay, this dude said he made between a half a million and six hundred thousand dollars that means he's basically paying himself about fifty thousand dollars a month that's pretty good that's excellent I don't know how excellent it is out there in Newport Beach, California, but it's pretty excellent. You just have to work really, really hard and make a lot of calls. You make calls, then it's not as hard. If you don't make calls, it's very difficult. And being persistent, which is really any job. What's your Fail. biggest tip for saving money? I think you just need to save as much as you can and buy things that you can't spend. What is your current biggest expense right now? Probably the kids. That buy things that you can't spend, meaning assets. Education, food. How much is your rent? He's willing to invest the majority. His biggest expense is his child's education. You don't hear that in our communities. You don't hear that in our culture. You would get a chick that make uh, $250,000 a year. And so her, her biz, biz, biggest expense is her Chanel bags or whatever. And her kids go to the hood school. Her, they won't invest in their kid's education. Their kid is going to be taking out student loans, Right. But you won't see a chick that's investing in the education. Or mortgage. My house is paid off. Any advice for aspiring entrepreneurs? House is paid off. Just immerse yourself. Like, you have to work hard. The majority of these people's net worth be tied up in their houses, too. So I bet you his, the majority of his net worth is tied up in his house. That's why he, his net worth is $45 million out there in California. Than everybody else. It's harder to do than you can say, but you just have to learn and take advantage, and sometimes opportunities will show up because you're working hard. Awesome. Thank you so much. My name is Michael Torres. I'm 28, and I work in sales for some. He got to make over 100 grand a year. If he's working in sales, well, let me see. Software company. If he is sales in a software company, then he probably make about $150,000 a year. He's very soft spoken, though. He probably make 150. His net worth, I would guess, is probably close to maybe a half a million dollars. What's your biggest personal finance hack? You live below your means. And how do you do that? Being smart with your money and what you make decisions with it. So what do you invest your money in? Spiritual health. My oh, he's the Eric Benet type. He's the he's a help. He's a, uh, <laughs> a earthy guy. Spiritual health, family. Probably he's in astrology, but apparently he's not saying how much he makes. So some of these people apparently is not saying how much they make. Family, how I spend my time. Thank you so much. Thanks, Charlie. Thank you. Cheers, man. My name is Paul. I'm uh, going to be 80 years old. And I oh, Paul is loaded. Paul at 80, and he got his glasses. Uh, he got his glasses hanging around his neck like that. Whatever the oh, the main glasses are those. What is those? Paul is 80 and he moves slow and he got white hair and he got on them dad jeans. Paul is fucking loaded. I guarantee you Paul is loaded. Paul probably made, if he's 80, then he's probably retired. But most of these guys still work. So he's probably making at least still a quarter million dollars a year. But I would say Paul is, is worth at least five, at least $5 million. At least. On the low end too, five, but I'm going to just go with five. 
I'm in real estate investments. First of all, you oh, Annie in real estate investment? Net worth is crazy. Look fantastic for being 80. Thank you. <laughs> Do you have any advice for anyone that wants to get into real estate investing? Yeah, I'll get into real estate investments. Is it the best thing you've ever done? Huh? Yeah, you know, real estate is the ideal investment. I D E A L. I is for income, D is for depreciation, E is for equity buildup, A is for appreciation, and L is for leverage. There oh, snaps. Paul just gave y'all the life hack right there. Real estate, it generates income. Depreciation is the amount that you can write off in order to be able to lower your tax burden. A lot of people ain't up on that. Equity, the equity that you have in a property continues to uh, justify whatever it is that you are substantiating as your net worth, meaning the amount that you owe versus the amount that the property is worth. That's the equity in it. The appreciation is how much the, the property continues to go up in value with you just holding on to it. And then the leverage. Man, Paul just gave y'all a life hack. Shout out to Paul. There's no other investment that offers all. I'm taking that. Ideal. I'm taking that. Do you depreciate your properties? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Accelerated depreciation? Yeah. yeah, right. What's your philosophy on giving back and charity? First of all, uh, I believe that God owns everything and we're just stewards. And so our family uh, believes in giving while we're living. Why so he didn't say how much his net worth is? I wonder if he can get that about me knowing where it's going and we only accumulate wealth in order to give it away and so hope ideal i i'm still in that ideal income depreciation equity appreciation and leverage that's dope play uh by the time god takes me home we've given it all away that's, that's amazing. That's dope. And actually, giving is more fulfilling than accumulation. Most schools teach people how to accumulate wealth, but not how to deploy it for good and for high impact. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Paul is dope. He didn't say how much he was worth, but you know he worth a gajillion. Probably way. I'm Matt. I'm 38, and I work in the tech industry. What's something? that you like to splurge money on i guess my daughter if these people are not gonna say what it is that they making still or what their net worth is then there's no point in guessing does money equal happiness i don't think so no what has been the best lies money does equal happiness investments you've made to date i think traveling spending time with with friends and family do you have any advice for younger in order to be able to travel and spend time with friends and family you're gonna have to make some money People that want to get into tech. Maybe don't be afraid to like reach out to people for help. Sometimes that can be kind of like intimidating or, or scary. Thank you so much. Yeah. That's Venice Beach. Oh no, that's Newport Beach. My name's Justin. That look like Venice Beach. That's Venice Beach right there. I remember that exact walking part. Watch this part where you're walking up. That is Venice Beach right there. Check this out, Rita. No, I know. It's about to show. That's that's definitely Venice Beach. I walked literally up that exact same uh, pathway. Make sure it's live, too. That's Venice Beach right there. You see, remember that background? I'm 26, and I'm a medical student. Being a medical student? It might be Newport Beach. I don't know. We didn't go to Newport Beach's beach, but I remember Venice Beach looking like that, though. What is your net worth? Negative 250000 Do you want to get into medicine for yourself or because of your parents? Wait, wait, wait. What is this guy doing? Do what is your net worth? My name's Justin. I'm 26 and I'm a medical student. Being oh, that's okay. Justin is going to get the bag. Justin is going to pay that off within two years of graduating from medical school. He's going to pay that whole thing off. He's not even going to get nothing nice for himself. He's just going to keep on getting it. See, debt, debt is not necessarily a bad thing if you invest in yourself in the right thing. A medical student, what is your net worth? Negative 250000 Do you want to get into medicine for yourself or because of your parents? For myself. I can't see myself doing anything else. Do you have any advice for people that want to get into medicine? Just make sure you do your research and you know what you're getting into. It's a little bit heartbreaking being in school at 26 and seeing everyone else make money. But just... Delay gratification is heartbreaking. This, this is a great video. He said it's heartbreaking sometimes to be sitting in school at 26 and seeing everybody else making money and having a good time and partying and busting these hoes down. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Chin. I don't even know if that's his name. Let me, <laughs> let me tell you something, Chin or Justin. Usually these guys' names is Justin, too, or Chain. Uh, let me tell you something, Justin. The girls is dissing you now. 
but they ain't going to have an opportunity to get with you later, big dog. Stay on your game. Stay on your hustle, big dog. Just know that it's worth it, and if you really love medicine and can't see yourself doing anything else, then it is the right choice, and uh, I no regrets at all. So, being a student, what's your biggest expense besides Housing. tuition? Rent, obviously. Yep. I mean, and how much do you spend on rent? Around a thousand, eleven hundred a month. Okay. Yeah. What's something that you like to splurge your money on? Expensive food, sushi especially, like you know those hundred dollar dinners, but only for celebration, you know. Okay. Yeah. And then, what's your biggest tip for saving you money? Have saving a budget, I guess, in med school, if you do run out of money, you can always just take more loan money out. I guess that's a problem for future Justin. So I guess it's a little different in my scenario, but definitely setting a budget is good. Thanks nah, so much. Be Thank right. you. Daniel, 27. I do software engineering. What? Oh, he get the bag. Do you like to spend your money on? Going to the spa, getting massage, going to a restaurant once in a while. How often do you get massages? <laughs> not, not too much. Maybe like once or twice a month okay. or something. Do you have any tips for saving money? Get a roommate. I'm actually looking to do that, especially in California. He is a software engineer and he's looking to get a roommate, honey. That is crazy. And I guess the other one is don't eat out too much, which I'm kind of guilty of. What's a piece of advice you give someone that wants to get into software engineering? You can go to school for it, or if you want to learn it on your own, there's like boot camp programs for it that you could do at your own pace online. Did you go to college? Yeah, I actually went to UC Irvine. I did it that way, but some of my friends took some boot camp courses and they're doing pretty well. They work at like the big tech companies. Thanks so much. Yeah. My first name is Frank and I'm 76. Frank is 76. Frank look like he a visitor. Frank don't look like Paul though. Paul moved, Paul had a completely different disposition. I'm stereotyping right now. Frank, Frank, I don't know if Frank is, is but looks can be deceiving. Let me see. Six and I'm retired. What is your net worth? Over oh, okay. He said uh, Yeah, but he said over one million, but that ain't that ain't Paul. You know what I'm saying? Paul had a completely different thing, but Frank is probably, Frank probably worked all right. He had over a million dollars. I don't know if that's going to last him for the rest of his life, though. Over a million. Do you have any advice for people that want to become millionaires? Manage your money and, and know what you're doing and be smart. What's your biggest expense right now? My gorgeous girlfriend. What is the... Frank said my girlfriend. <laughs> well, Frank is smart in that way and that he's not married. The best thing you've bought in the last five years. His, his gorgeous girlfriend is the best thing he's bought in the last five years. Probably my uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee. Do you have any tips for saving money? You no, know, use your head and you know, think twice and act once. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Thank you for Thank your time. You. Thank you. Richard Inouye, I'm 70 and I'm retired. These guys is look. all of these guys are 70. What is your net worth? Is he an Asian guy? Maybe three million. Two million. What did you do? He said he had two million before i was a cfo for multiple companies okay. in the entertainment business do you have any advice for younger people that want to get into the entertainment business keep your priorities straight your family is most important work is way down in the priority list and if you keep that priority then if you're happy at home happy with your family and stuff like that work will come i love that and what do you like to splurge your money on food yeah. Do you have any tips for saving money? To invest wisely, to not put all your money into one basket. I like real estate, especially in California, because it kind of Everybody that's, uh, everything, everybody that's doing really, really well, so retired, no matter what they did, all of the ones that's doing really well, that has a high net worth, all of it is tied to real estate. You know, it always goes up, no matter what, it always goes up. And diversify your funds as much as you can. What has been the best investment you've ever made? Real estate. Is it like a certain property or? No, just homes. Single family. Cool. Thanks so much. Okay. That's what Anton do. Single family, baby. Appreciate the time. So as you guys probably heard, I talk to people of all different. You know. All right, that's enough. So long story short, I think that there's a, a lot of different people. There's a lot of different types of people and a lot of different ways in which people make money. But the one thing that we know for sure and the two things is for certain is that if you're not educated, if you don't have the wherewithal or the understanding as to how it is that money works, then you are going to be on the, other, on the opposite end of the spectrum, working for the rest of your life and holding on to, to wait for the government to be able to save you. And you don't want to live that lifestyle. All right.